Or if you want to play uh, Jin Kazuma, we got Tekken as well. That game's still available here at Xanadu as well. So CH Final versus Gumi. And CH Final getting shoved right into the corner. Miyako is a character that once she's got you knocked down once, becomes extremely frustrating to deal with. She's got overheads that don't look like overheads. She's got aerials that are going to hit you in the knees. And she moves really, really quickly to either side of you. However, Shiki very much some of the same problems. A little bit higher damage, a little bit less frustrating to block, but only slightly. But Gumi definitely getting the upper hand in this one. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. The H final, though, got full bars to work with. Getting hit in the noodle once. Those nice kill kicks coming out. Oh, interesting combo out of Gumi. Doesn't necessarily have the best follow-up for the Oki here. Doesn't let it phase him, though, and he's immediately right back on TH Final. Miyako's definitely a character that wants to play fast. She's, the more, she's a frustrating character. Not me, this character shouldn't be like this way, but part of her game plan is actually to piss you off, generally. I think that's the situation. Because the more frustrated you get playing against a Miyako, the harder time you're going to have blocking all the basically eight different directions she can come from. And that is a really quick 1-0. Oh. <laughs> all right, Gumi gonna be a game up heading into the second match. And not wasting any time, dragging the H final straight in the corner. Good amount of damage out. Going high is oftentimes one of your better answers against the Miyako, especially when you've got a character that just has the amount of utility Shiki does. However, jumping on Wake Up is not the safest thing in the world. You've got to be very aware of where your opponent is and what it is they've been doing on your Wake Up. When you're hitting a low overhead, Shake Final manages to block it. Basically getting all that health back from the heat, not going for the uh, arc drive, and that's a very dangerous move. Neon Ghost can get a massive punish off that if he makes it. So it's really safe play coming out from CH Final here, but playing safe against the Miyako, only going to get you so far, honestly. Okay, good matching, and that, like, the Shiki gets damage. Goes for a throw, doesn't connect, and tries to rush back after missing a throw. Missing a throw is a tough thing in this game because you feel like you're wide open, but you really quickly got to think, okay, no, I'm still going. I missed. What do I do? One of the biggest mistakes you can make in fighting games, it's not like the 101 type mistake, but a 102 type mistake, is if you like miss a throw or miss a uh, overhead, you try to do a thing and it doesn't work, and then you keep doing it. It's fresh in your mind, you want to prove to yourself and to your opponent, like, hey, I can hit this thing. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over, you become very, very predictable. Whatever move you just did or tried to do is now what's on the forefront of your opponent's stack. The yeah, final, though, stacking up that damage and getting the install. The counter, though, not going to give him that round for free by any stretch of the imagination. But next hit should win. Oh, no, it's Gooey. Art drive finish. And going up 2-0 very quickly. Again, the matches are moving fast, and they're ending in 2-0s uh, and 3-0s, but that doesn't mean that the opponent is looking absolutely helpless. It just means that one person is coming out slightly ahead consistently. And that's really what you're seeing out of the uh, more successful Melty players who have here at Vanity, is they're just consistent. They're getting out of squirrely situations a little more frequently. They're blocking just a tiny bit better. They're not dropping combos just a easy bit more. As you see that, CH like, Final, he was eating a lot of damage, he got some good blocks, and then he gets out some good damage. Gumi's right back into it. All right, CH Final, one last chance in the winner's bracket. He's got to start turning this around now. Maybe he needs to put on a little more pressure, start playing a little wilder, or maybe he needs to tighten it up and play it a little more safe. Honestly, it's hard to find a great answer against the Miyako. There's the shielding. Starting shielding more can be a uh, way to change the game on a different spectrum. Blood Heat coming out now. Full Moon Gauge as well. He's already healed up everything, so he's 
might go for something crazy, doesn't know. Still got a full moon gauge if you want to start burning that on a moon drive and still hits the shield. That was a long shield hold from Yumi. And this could do it. Nope, he's still with him. Doesn't quite finish that combo. And Moon Drive coming out from Miyako. She wants it now. Oh, he's on a pixel, and he's dead. Kumi will be advancing to meet Hama in winner's final. The CH final is not out of this yet. It will simply be dropping down to the lower bracket. The bracket's coming along, guys. And uh, it seems like a lot of the people who were playing NBA ACC, the previous version of Melty, which we've been sitting on for quite a while, are showing up here to play Type Lumina, and they are playing it very